Um, obviously not the result we wanted tonight, um, uh, but you know there's there'll be a time that we go back and, and look at this with the players on our roster that'll be returning for next year and, and, and figure out why um, there's some hows and um, and some whys that we're even in this game and then um, um, why we lost this game and we'll fix that as we move forward. Um, all credit to Grambling. Um, they come out in the first half extremely motivated. Um, play with a lot of energy, a lot of um, enthusiasm, a lot of toughness. We let them get going shooting the basketball. You let um, That was the one thing I told our players. Um, I've watched them against other Power 5 teams, as in Southern Cal, Miami, and those teams. And um, when they got going shooting the basketball against those teams, they got they got to feeling good. And um, I told our players we can't let them get, do, get to doing that, and they'll play on emotion. And they did a lot of that in the first half, and that hurt us. Got dug ourselves a big hole and then couldn't get out of it. But... Um, there's a lot to be proud of this season. There's a lot to be proud of. Um, as I told our team after the game, um, for the returners, we'll fix what happened here. Um, love our seniors. They had a great career here. Shaquilla Joseph came here. Um, she was the first recruit that decided to come here. I was talking to her in Bridgeport, Connecticut on the phone. Um, I just got the job, and she was committed to NC State, and um, we was able to convince her to decommit and come here when nobody else really wanted to come here. And um, in her four years, she's been able to go to two postseason plays. Um, she's changed the culture of our program from that aspect of, of winning, winning, and obviously wish she could have won more. Um, but it takes time building it. And, um, you know, and then you look at uh, Erica Sisk. Um, I said this about her on senior night. Um, when you're trying to change things in a program, um, you won't play it. You've got to find a player that's going to play hard every single day where they may lack at times in this or that. They don't lack in energy. They don't lack in toughness. And um, she's brought that. And she's put that in a couple of our younger players. That's exciting for me as we move forward. And that's something that I will always owe to her. And um, she went down fighting tonight. She went down fighting as, as I expected her to. And then um, Taylor Manuel there, um, you know, 28 points, eight rebounds. You look at the SEC tournament stats. She's just a kid that came here when We'd won 10 games the year before. We were down, no momentum really going in the program. And she came here and was helped, to, helped us get back to the postseason, which is huge. And so there's a lot to be proud of. Wins over Tennessee, A&M, Oregon. Um, I was watching the selection show the other night, and we were 2-0 and against five seeds, um, A&M and Tennessee. And um, I was sitting there thinking why, you know, my job as we move into the offseason is why we're in the NIT and how, we're not, and how can we make sure we're not in it again. And that's something I'm working on for about a week in my head and on paper and making sure that we're not in this game again. Because this is not what our program stands for. I'm happy about being in the, in, the, in the postseason. It's a step in the right direction of our program. But our program prides itself on NCAA tournament. And as we move forward with the kids we have returning, we have the 11th rated recruiting class in the country coming in. We're going to add another couple of kids hopefully here in a couple of weeks. Um, we got to get we got to get back to where we want to be at, and that's the NCAA tournament. And we won't slow down until we get there. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. I gave them off a lot of days. We shot the ball extremely well in practice. Um, you know, we the biggest thing with us. It I said before the season started, um, if we stay healthy, we would have a chance to win 19, 20, 21 games regular season and be in the NCAA tournament. I said that to you guys in our first press conference. Um, it really hurt us with Crochet Rowe and Tory Lewis going down. We lost all depth on the perimeter. And so you look at Sandrika and Medina, as well as they shot the ball early in the year, their legs started to go on them because they had to play so many minutes, so many minutes. And I think that takes a toll on them. Where we had before the season, that was a position that I felt – extremely well about with our depth. I thought we had six extremely good players, um, in the, or five really good players in that position, counting Bree Glover. And when you get down to three, and um, now one of them's a freshman that's, that's it's a, it, you wasn't really expecting to play a, a lot of minutes. Um, now you're having to put minutes on her, but I think their legs went, I really do. I think their legs went, they're great shooters. They shoot it well, I just think they got tired. And um, the way we play defense is not easy. We get up and guard. And um, that'll be something I really look at in the off season to make sure that's the right way of playing defense um, for our basketball team because obviously at times the officials don't allow you to play that way like they've done in the past. 
And so we've got to adapt our style of play. And um, But I think that had a lot to do with their shooting. Um, if you'd have told me that them three, them two were going to go three for um, 13 from the three-point line and, I, and as clean a looks as they got, I'd have never thought that in a million years. But it happens. It happens. Yeah, we just we felt like throwing it inside was going to be important, and um, well, they 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 were packing the lane in on us, um, and we kept throwing it in there too, and she had a lot of success in there, and I was real proud of her. She was hurting after the game; she wanted to keep playing. They all did. Uh, we come out with we lacked energy to start the game. Um, why? Um, I don't know if it's a two week layoff. Um, I'm not a fan of the layoffs. Um, I wish we could end our tournament and go right into playing like some of these tournaments do. I think that's good for us. But um, um, but it's part of women's basketball. You take kind of a week off. So you're talking about two weeks off. Um, I'd hate to be playing in the NCAA tournament after two weeks off. And there's teams that are going to suit up tomorrow. It's been off for two weeks and a day. And so, um, you know, though it, it, I think our rhythm was off early. Um, at halftime, I just reminding them of who we were. And um, – and who we are defensively and, and get up the line and guard. And, we, we, you know, we got 31 field goal attempts to the 25. But, again, the story of our season this year is people's going to the free throw line on us. They make 20 free throws to our eight. Um, you get That's where the difference in the game was. We did a good job of guarding the three-point line in the second half. They only made two. Well, they made six in the first. And so um, going to Taylor was something that was very important. And um, she played well. She played really well. Proud of her. She was hurting. Yeah, we just we had energy. I came out, we came out and fought. We played hard. Um, you know, I, I, I'm proud of them for that. Proud of them for that, and um, that's something that we'll. I told them after the game that I pulled a chair up and sat in there between them, all of them, and they were hurting, um, and they're gonna hurt for a couple of days because they don't want to lose. Um, in particular, our young kids hate losing, and um, sometimes when you look at our team, you can you can mistake it from. They're into it with each other out there on the court. We've got some very competitive kids, and they they're very, they compete at a high level. And, um, you know, I just I'm, – I'm proud of them. I'm real proud of them for a lot of things they accomplished this year. Did we win 20 games like we wanted to, 22 games? No, that's where we got to get to. But it's, it's a process. It's a process. And, and Coach Freeze sent me a text this morning. He said, this is just a step of the process, and you just got to keep going. And no matter what happens in the NIT, just believe in what you're doing and keep going. And, and um, I believe in our kids. And I just pulled up in there and told them that I'm proud of them. That was a lot they've done. They've done a lot of good things for our program. Um, you told me before the season started that we'd have beat Tennessee, we'd have beat A&M. You know, we got some good wins. We were in every game. I told our staff, I sat in the locker room five years ago at the Tad Pad, and I was an assistant at Kentucky. And um, we didn't even do a scout on Ole Miss that night. We just came out here and played and won the game for 25. I told our staff, I said, the one thing that we've done, every game that we, we play, we either win it or we have a great chance of winning it in the toughest league in the country. By golly, I bet people do the scout on us now. And, and that's a big step of it. It's a big step of it to get us back to where we got to get to. And I believe a lot in our staff. I believe a lot in our team. I believe a lot in our players. We've got the 11th rated class coming in here. We're in on some really good kids here late. There's a lot of momentum. We can't let Grambling, as I told our team, the loss to Grambling, all credit to them. They beat us. They just beat us. It had nothing to do with anything, but they just beat us. They played hard, and they wanted the game, and they won the game. All credit to them. But we can't let this derail our momentum. We got to keep pushing forward, and that's what we're going to do. Because there's no other choice. There's no other choice. We got to keep pushing forward. We got to keep playing basketball. We're going to wake up in the morning, and I'm going to get on an airplane at some point tomorrow, and I'm going to go get some more players. And we're just going to keep keep building this thing the way we need to build it. Uh, we got a lot of great kids coming back. We got some four really good ones signed, and hopefully we sign a couple more. And it's it's going to be something special. And we're going to look back on this game and say this was a big part of the step big part of the step and we got to look at it that way and we got to keep pushing forward thank you guys thank you guys for covering us all year it means a lot to us thank you yep thank you man